Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borek, and this is going to be a quick breakdown and key takeaways of the Flyers falling <clears throat> in Jake Borachek's return as Elvis Mers Lincolns plays a hell of a game as the Flyers at 34 shots on goal. Only Jerry Mayhew was able to beat Mers Lincolns on the evening. And also, Carter Hart made a very good day in that, but unfortunately, because of another Avon Provorov mistake, is checkpoint A of the reason the Flyers lost, which is sometimes now, not sometimes, which is really now becoming too many times I've had to push him towards Ivan Provorov's play for a big reason of the Flyers' struggle. Uh, he had over four giveaways in this game. One was on the Bjork Strand goal, um, where he forced it to Lawton. I don't even blame Lawton. He got mad for that play, but he got mad on that play because he wasn't able to play a puck, I think. That got forced into a tough situation. I don't know if he necessarily got mad at himself for turning it over because he didn't really turn it over. That's like a quarterback forcing it into double or triple coverage and then blaming the receiver for not being able to come down with it. That doesn't make much sense now, does it? Uh, so that was a absolutely atrocious um, play right there. And then you have the Flyers trying to get out of the zone again. And then who, even in a struggling season for Patrick Laine, who does it end up on his blade? One of the best shooters in the league. Doesn't matter what the hell he's doing statistically. It just matters if it gets on his damn stick and he can fire it. He's going to get it in the net 9 out of 10. And that's exactly what he did in that situation. You couldn't get out of the zone again. So, A, Ivan Provorov continues to struggle. A, minus issue in this game. Or the A2 issue is the fact that they just can't exit Jones again, which before the holiday break, coming into the run when we were playing better hockey before the holiday break, the Flyers were doing better at that. Then post-holiday, they just suck at everything again and are on another 10-game losing streak and um, can't do anything. So Jake Voracek is point three of this video. Of course, comes back in. It's a great picture with a burning Chris May. That was an awesome jersey he was rocking. Flyers did a great check out Flyers Fan Manny and the Czech Republic jersey he was rocking. Uh, for Voracek coming back, one of the better players uh, during my lifetime with our Philadelphia Flyers, one of the top assist goers and one of the tops <clears throat> in points in our franchise history, especially in my lifetime. Um, so he's been a hell of a player, and it was great to have him back and to see uh, Cam Atkinson and Jake Voracek go against their former teams. Unfortunately, as an update for the Flyers, uh, Joel Farabee, and, well, Kevin Hayes, we knew, was injured, but uh, Farabee is um also added to the IR, excuse me, and he will be out. Uh, it says Farabee will miss up to four weeks with an upper body injury, <clears throat> so they called up Wade Allison and Jackson Cates to the taxi squad from the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Allison played a 3-3 three and three in the weekend, so Bob Rotruck got that spot on. Um, it didn't seem like he was going to be caught over the weekend. Tony Andrakis also got that spot on. Um, then when it came to um, later in the week, he did admit to being sore after Sunday's game, still trying to get his legs back under him because weight's coming off of the ankle injury and an elbow. But um, it seems like the Flyers are ready to at least mix him into the lineup. I'm not sure how many back-to-backs uh, or, or how many um, – games in a row he'll get since it seems like they're still working him uh, back and what have you. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see because he did admit to being sore after the weekend's tilts of games, which makes sense because he wasn't back for a while, but that's also the reason why you don't want to rush him back into putting him in kind of exposed opportunities at the NHL level, I guess is a way to put it. You don't want to set him up for injury, basically. And then Cage is back up, who I thought has actually played solid. And um, has probably outplayed guys like Bunneman when they've been in the lineup. Um, and even other than last night when he was able to pot the goal, Jerry Mayhew, because he plays a little bit more of a complete NHL-style clean overall game. Just nothing overall impressive is good. Impressive Jackson Cates, but he plays a more clean overall game where where uh, Mayhew, excuse me, is the minor league MVP. But the guy that if he doesn't find a way to get shots on goal at the NHL level, he's more limited in terms of what he's going to do elsewise. But um, it's interesting to see. It's it's great blessing in the skies to get these kids NHL veterans opportunities, obviously, at the NHL level due to the COVID season. Of course, after the All-Star break, they're only going to start testing asymptomatic players, so that'll adjust the way it's going. But I hope you all enjoyed this quick recaps and takeaways video from the loss um, to the Columbus Blue Jackets. But first and foremost, Yvonne Provorov continued to have takeaway issues and just couldn't get the puck up the ice efficiently. The Flyers as a whole couldn't get the puck up the ice efficiently, like example A being the line A goal when it goes right to him, and he's able to wire it on net. And then uh, three would be Carter Hart has continued to look good. The team just couldn't step up for him, so that's great success moving forward uh, for the Philadelphia Flyers. 
And then the fourth thing to wrap up this video is Cam York continues to look like he fits in perfectly fine. So that's a great step in the right direction. So it's nice to have steps in the right direction when all else is going wrong. And the Flyers have a second 10-game losing streak. Not the first of the season, the second in 40 games. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy-to-use widget to keep us going and growing. Peace out, everybody, and hopefully the Flyers can figure this out.